hello hello everybody and welcome back to my channel today i am going to be showing you my first ever sketchbook tour and i've never done a sketchbook tour on my channel i have a ton of sketchbooks because i have been drawing non-stop for the past going on six years and so um let me know if you guys want to see more sketchbook tours because i can show you the nitty-gritty like i can show you the very humble beginnings of um of my sketching and trying to learn art i just looked back at it the other day and it was horrendous but a good horrendous like i could I'm, i looked back on them and i was happy that i learned a lot um i do want to say um if you do notice forgive my nails um they're going through a recon process i have damaged them really really bad <laughs> and so right now they look atrocious and um, yeah, kind of stubby. They're kind of stubby, kind of uneven. So just forgive that. This is the sketchbook. I have um, told you guys many times in the past that I have went through like a little art block. Um, this art block, not as long as a previous art block. A previous one lasted for like six months and it was pretty bad. Um, this one was just like a, it was like a, like a month or so. And um, this sketchbook, I pulled out from beyond the grave um, from 2020 as you can see and um, I decided to make this like a no pressure just create what you want to create type of thing and that's what I did and um, this is the moleskin pocket sketchbook and um, as you can see this is from August 2020 is when I first um, dove into the sketchbook started the sketchbook and i ended it november 28th 2022 and so this is my sticker here that i decided to um put on the cover and i do have these in my shop if you're interested the link will be in the description but let's go ahead and get into the sketchbook so yes like i said i started this august 2020 and ended it november 28th 2022 Ah, man, 2020, 2020, <laughs> this was with, um, Posca pins. Yes, this was with Posca pin and you know, I don't know what I was doing here. I don't know why her skin was like this. I guess I was just trying to make, um, something different, but yeah. This, I do still believe, is with a uh, Posca pen. And man, like looking back on this, you can tell that my style has changed, but you can still tell their um, characteristics of my style. Um, Cause I ultimately still draw my hands like this. So yeah, this was with another uh, more Posca pens and the liner was an aquash uh, pen just to me working on side profiles and I find side profiles pretty hard to do. So <laughs> that's how it came out looking like that. This was with um, those watercolor, Ecoline, Ecoline watercolor pens. And again, the outline was with the Pentel Aquash. This was when I tried to d uh, delve into gouache. I remember I thought this was really cute at the time. This again, gouache. Yep, again, I still draw, I still to this day draw my hands like this. I'm, I still ultimately draw my bangs like this. I'm still really bad at bangs, man. Can't get them the way I want them to get them. Again, more gouache. And yeah, these just started out as little bitty portraits that I wanted to do in this sketchbook. So yeah, this is more gouache. It's just a sketch. Oh my gosh. What's going on with her face there? I remember I thought this was um, really cute at the time too that I drew <laughs> that I drew this. It's a girl with what looks like to be a panda hoodie. I'm still bad at drawing folds, but that was my attempt. This is like a little mouse girl. I still find this really cute for some reason. I don't know, she's like really, really cute to me. This is still 2020, by the way. And 
yeah still trying to get familiar with gouache I was using it like watercolor because I don't know gouache at the time I didn't know gouache at the time just some pencil sketches more pencil sketches my goodness this hair girl Yeah, I still think this is pretty okay. I think this was like one of my attempts of trying to draw like a girl in a winter hat and the scarf came out okay. It's okay, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> oh, this is January, 2021. And I think this is when I picked this book back up and I was still trying to get gouache. <laughs> still trying to get gouache and it just was not working it looks okay it's just very flat and it kind of wasn't working this is uh me trying acrylic gouache for the first time and i'm trying to learn how to draw clouds and whatever that was and i think i don't even remember i remember i used a reference like a, a artist as a reference for these two but i forgot which artist that it was that was a bad sketch so this is April 27, 2021, and this is January 2021. So yes, time has passed since I picked up this book. I picked it up, did acrylic, did that, did that, and was like, nope, and then just picked it back up a couple months later. That was a reference off Pinterest, which did not go well. I specifically remember this because I picked this up as I was going to get my car. Um, when you go get your tags done, I don't know if every state does this, but um, here in Tennessee, uh, Nashville, you had you had to at the time, no longer as of late 2021, 20 yeah, as of as of like mid 2022. You did not, you had to take it through modern and you had to get your car inspected every year to get new tags. And this was me in line at the place, sitting in my car and I doodled, doodled this from a Pinterest reference. And this is October 8th, 2022. And this is around the time when I was like, you know what, I'm art blocked. I just wanna create just to create. I don't want any more pressure from posting online 24 7 and instagram and all that stuff so that's where that's where this started so yeah just some random random doodles this is a random doodle i decided to add um some gouache to and this gouache is the um so on top of my tongue turner's artist gouache that I have that was that was my first attempt at gouache these pages back here with um these this this gouache and these were Turner gouache that was my first ever time trying to experiment with gouache and that's what this is I just brought this back out <laughs> like a year and a half two years later so yeah this was just um just a sketch just a sketch this um again just a sketch just doing whatever i just grabbed some paint and just started doing this with the brush mixing some red some paints gray this was a reference from pinterest october 9th 2022 this was um me just looking at pinterest and drawing what's it called motor bikes mopeds 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 yeah i had my attempt at drawing some mopeds because i didn't know how to draw them and i was like let's look at some reference and um draw some mopeds and that's what i learned really hit home and learned for me throughout this sketchbook is to use the reference use the reference as much as artists that I look up to say that a lot 
I usually am just like, I just want to sit down and I just want to draw because I have it in my mind. This is what I want to do. No, if you want it to come out good, take your time, find a reference. Even if that reference takes you a while to find, even if you have to do the reference yourself, find the reference if you want it to come out, if you want it to come out looking the way you envision it in your mind. So I feel like that's what this sketchbook really taught me just doing like these little doodles and just playing around so yeah this was of course it's October so this was like some witches hats reference uh that I found and again the background is with that Turner um artist gouache because I have a ton of it and I just clearly didn't use it for years so still works fine still works great so that's what that is this was like a tester page this was even like a like I drew this and then like how it came out and then I just started testing stuff I got some fine liners some um, that are not waterproof some inks um, I wanted to see how my Lamy Safari pen would work in this sketchbook. And these are some Lucas Studio gouache, um, what's like swatches. And I don't like it, so I'm going to give it away to charity. I had these for a very, very long time. And I didn't like it back then, and I didn't know how to do gouache. And I don't like it now, now that I have like maybe kind of a good grasp of gouache. <laughs> so I'm going to give these away to charity. They're in my charity bin. This was just a sketch. Um, I think it was like during my work break, just a doodle. This cute little sketch, I like how that came out. She, she was gonna be like um, finished with watercolor, but I just never did it because I just didn't want to mess it up, honestly. Um, here's some gouache doodles and I do believe this is Steel Turner's artist gouache I believe but yeah that was just me playing around with again references and just having fun and doodling no pressure I really didn't care how it came out just wanted to try some mushrooms this little girl um I have a video on actually yeah I made a video I'll link it in the card above if you want to go check that out I did a whole uh, watercolor coloring process of this and I really love how that turned out that one of my favorites in the sketchbook this one not so much my favorite I think her head is way too big I just don't like the way her body is but you know it's a learning it's it's we're learning we're learning it's a process this I do like the way this came out this again was another um, reference from Pinterest and this is what is this this is this I believe this is a dr. PH Martin's um rose matter so I just like basically just put it in and overlaid it cuz I was like I like the sketch but I wanted to have some color so that's what I did with that oh this is me still trying to attempt gouache I'm trying to here I'm trying to use it how everyone else I see online use it and that's like um I guess realism like trying to make it as real as possible and I just feel like that's just not it's just not what I do I don't think it turned out great this I think turned out horrible it just it just it no this one I'm looking at it through the screen and it's actually not that bad. I'm looking at it through the camera and I'm like, huh. You know, it's not it's not great, but it's not horrible. So yeah, I learned that I don't like using gouache in the realistic format that other people use gouache in. So that's what I learned from that. This um turned out okay. It was my attempt at like doing gouache, like trying to draw people using gouache or paint people using gouache. And this was like my first attempt in a long time. And again, just painting, having fun, experimenting, no pressure. It wasn't meant 
meant to be shown to anybody except for YouTube, clearly. But it wasn't meant to be shown on Instagram, like how a lot of my sketches kind of are. Um, so, yeah, just me playing around. Didn't turn out great, but it didn't turn out horrible. And I learned a lot from this. I was very happy with that. This was just me doodling with some watercolor paint um, brush marker pens. Watercolor sketch again with aquash liner, I think. No, it was with this liner, my Fudenotsuke Tombow Water Base Pigment Ink. So, yeah, that's what I used to line that with. And then this, um, it was just playing, just playing around with some metallic, um, paint that I have and just drawing flowers. I think I got a reference or an idea off of um, Pinterest. Pinterest, sorry. Sketch of a girl, just random girl holding fire, I guess. I love drawing these flowers. I guess this is my version of a peony. <laughs> so yeah, I draw this flower a lot, like a lot, a lot random eye sketches because I wanted to change the way I did eyes because I just wasn't liking the way I did them so that's what these two pages are for now this has to be my favorite spread of the sketchbook and this is like kind of like one of the first like real attempts um, at me coloring people uh, like the girls I usually draw with gouache and I absolutely love how she came out absolutely love it and this is with the Holbein gouache at the starter set Holbein gouache I do also have a video um, of that on my YouTube channel but that's what I use I use the Holbein starter set with her and I absolutely love how she came out um, this I use some Holbein gouache that I had um, purchased previously when I started to get into gouache and I never used it again but I do love how the flowers um, came out again these are like my favorite flowers to draw my version of a peony uh, but yeah that I, this this is my favorite spread in the whole sketchbook just a quick doodle this was an unfinished um, gouache piece that I was supposed to do I just never finished it me practicing a tree she she was on the page first and then the arm was like extended over and I was like what am I gonna draw over here and I was like oh well, well practice a tree so that's what that was but yeah this um, she was used with Paul Rubens watercolor this was something on the bottom and i hated it so much that i covered it up with this on the top so yeah that's just a ballpoint pen with some sticky notes and then this i have a video on this i will link it in the card above so you guys can go check that out and that's me trying to explain like my process with gouache like me trying to get a hold of the medium i really do like it i like how i use it now now that i know how i like to use it this is how I'm going to use it moving forward unless, you know, I have a process change or something like that. But I like using it like this. This is nice. Um, Sketch of a Girl that didn't come out so good. Me trying to use Hemi Mia gouache and it just went horribly wrong. I just don't like that gouache. <laughs> Everyone loves it and I just don't like it. I think I'm going to donate that one too because I've tried many times to like this gouache and it just does not work well. Up here are some just random sketches. This one I was like, oh, this could be a concept and then I just never went back to it. So, doodles. This one. I do believe was also used with um, Paul Rubens watercolors. 
this was created with um, some leftover gouache no it was handmade watercolors that I've had yeah and I just don't like how it came out just a sketch just to be sketching um, another sketch this was me testing out some new gouache that I got some Winsor & Newton gouache Shin Han gouache and lilac lilac and rose yeah this was just me doodling with some Tombow markers just a little sketch to the sketchbook is almost over so I'm just like doodling at this point again more flowers that I love and this girl to end the sketchbook off and that's pretty much it because this is not a page and I was not about to try and draw on that page there's a little pocket back here absolutely nothing in it but yeah that is my sketchbook tour I really hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you guys want more sketchbook tours I'll be glad to show you a couple that I do um, a couple that I do have some they're a lot more bigger than this so it'll probably it'll probably take a while to get um through them if you guys want to check out this sticker it is in my shop below along with some other goodies um it's on my coffee again in the description if you guys want to check out my instagram and other social medias that will be in this description box below thank you guys for watching and coming back to my channel and i will see you in my next video bye